This week I visited the atelier of Ayala Sarfati in the Jaffa district of Tel Aviv. I try to pay a trip to her remarkable workspace every time I visit the white city. I met Ayala five years ago when she had a solo show at the Tel Aviv Museum of Art, an installation called Soma. I remember being moved by the illuminated immense sculptures that looked like layers of white clouds, as light as feathers floating above the ground. It suggested an underwater world of ultimate mystery and beauty. This type of museum installation was like a fantasy. It would absorb you for hours and you would want to visit over and over again. I remember thinking of the Zen gardens of Kyoto that allow the visitor to meditate and inhale the spiritual fullness of nature before learning that the Kyoto Gardens are one of Ayala's major sources of inspiration. Later, I was introduced to her illuminated sculptures, which she crafts in various shapes, colors, and sizes. Her innovative method utilizes glass rods manipulated into a fragile and complex skeleton, which is then covered with a thin skin of white polymer. These objects have not only gained admirers, but have also transformed homes across the globe into dazzling spaces. Through these peaceful lights, she creates harmony and balance in objects that are quiet, yet expressive and provocative, naturalistic, yet surreal. These forms are feminine, sensual, and pure. Ayala's spirit clearly shines through her light sculptures. Last year, Ayala introduced a new series of furniture called Rapa, another manifestation to her unique vision. She crafts each piece from handmade felt, the most ancient of all textiles. Layer after layer of magnificent silk, linen and wool fibers in astonishing colors are crafted into substantial forms on frames of sofas, chairs and day beds. The furniture has a primitive quality covered with textures suggesting rust, moss, aged wood and minerals. It expresses an acceptance of natural cycles of growth and decay after the Japanese manner of wabi-sabi. After years of exploring tribal art and digging into the world of textiles, Ayala has achieved an expression of her personal genius.